hi guys welcome back to my channel it's lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything in this video is alleged so it's been a lot of stuff um circulating about tia and Corey's marriage and marriage um problems and i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of the stuff seems like it definitely probably is true and a lot of stuff i feel like is definitely far-fetched i know that i was watching an interview that tia recently did and the um woman asked her um has when the last time she talked to Corey and how that situation is going and tia said she speaks to Corey every single day they still tell each other that they love each other every single day um she just wanted to find her peace and happiness and a lot of people read too deep into it we would never know what went on in tia and Corey's household but this is one thing i know for sure tia was not happy if you listen to her the only thing she keeps saying is i had to do a lot of soul searching i had to learn that i deserve better i I want to love on me. Um, you know, it was a hard decision, but I just felt like I needed to put myself first for a change and do what was best for me. Tia has been with Corey since she's been like 17 years old or something like 16, 17 years old. Sometimes you simply just grow apart. She had to go, go through her young, um, her young, what young love stage she had to go through um just growing being an adult with Corey. sometimes you grow into different individuals and you crave different things in your life and you want different things in your life and sometimes you just realize that that person is not for you and that you want true happiness do you know what i'm saying a lot of people stay in marriages because of the kids and because it's it feels safe and it feels secure and they don't want to start over and they're just comfortable and to step out and just to step out uh, on faith and really just truly love yourself enough to say, I want what I deserve. I want happiness. That is a big thing to do. And I'm proud that Tia did that. I'm not going to knock it. Corey probably, you know, wasn't the best husband to Tia. I heard that he hits on a lot of women, but I don't know that for sure. I'm not going to just say that. I don't know that. But I'm going to tell you something. If he was doing it on Tia, he, 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 he can't be too put together in the brain because Tia got it going on. I don't care what nobody say. When I tell you she dressed nice, she classy, she always booked, and she's definitely always busy. She is a great mother. That is a, listen, that's a loss. That's a big loss. Anybody that has the pleasure of dating Tia, being her husband, or any of that, that's a lucky man because she is right. She deserves more and then some do you hear what i'm saying that's a good woman tia is a good woman and i feel like you know i always felt like when i looked on the outside because you never we can really never judge somebody's marriage but i'm telling you how i feel Corey always looked at like he didn't want to be in the photos he never looked truly happy sitting beside tia he always just looked like he didn't want to be there he was aggravated he had to take the picture he never seemed truly happy i think that the, both of them realized that listen i know Corey is more hurt because i don't think he ever thought tia would truly walk away from him but i do feel like that they both weren't happy in that relationship i and a lot of times i feel like Corey probably was like on the back burner a lot because tia is always booked and busy and Corey has always kind of been a struggling actress um even though he's been booking a lot, a lot of roles these past two or three years, I feel like at first it was hard for him to get a grip on it. So it was almost like living in your wife, your wife's shadow and both of them are actors. And so it had to be really hard to see his wife book so many jobs and he couldn't really book any jobs but i feel like a real man that truly loved their wife they're going to support that they're going to cheer you on no matter what place they are in their life and that's truly how i feel but i just always got the vibe that Corey wasn't genuinely happy with tia and i i am thankful that tia i am thankful as a fan of tia that she's going for what makes her happy um i do feel like um tia was carrying probably carrying that marriage on her back and i just feel like you know as women know your self-worth and if tia is teaching anybody anything is to i don't care how comfortable you is with that man or how comfortable you is in that marriage 
If you are not in love and you're not truly happy, go find it. We see too many positive relationships right now. We see um Queen and Clarence. We see Regina and Armand. We see um let me see. Beyonce and Jay Z are a power, power couple to me. I love Cardi being Offset. I it's a lot of relationships where you could tell people they're genuinely like in love with each other. That the love is there and that's where they want to be. So if you feel like you're in a situation where you truly have one foot in and one foot out, leave and go find a relationship you want to be two feet in. Do you get what I'm saying? You want to go all in. Because you don't deserve that. None of us deserve that. It's too. It, life is too short. Do it. Be who you want to be. Be with who you want to be with, and know your self worth. This go for men and women. And I truly feel like Tia is stepping into her light. And that couldn't have been a hard thing to do because out of all these years, I have never seen Tia or Tamara put their business on on social media. I haven't seen anything about their personal life on social media. For so for Tia to do this, it was definitely time for her to bounce. She was definitely over it. She was definitely tired. She was definitely tired of putting on a happy smile and a happy face when inside her home, it was just crashing down. I applaud her for that because uh, she was putting on a happy face for a few years. And every picture I see in Corey and he just looked like he just didn't want to be there. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. And so I'm just happy that Tia is doing what she needs to do but y'all let me know down in the comment section have y'all ever been in a relationship where you're one foot in and one foot out or or that every day you feel like you deserve better but you're just just settling and because you've been in that relationship for so long it's just really hard for you to leave because that's her husband she's gonna love him to this day and a lot of people was like well why is she still telling this man she loved him because she do and that's the father of her two kids she will always love him they they've been together for like 18 years or something like that uh trust me that love will will not go never die she will always love Corey for the rest of her life and he will love Tia for the rest of his life. They got young kids together. Ain't nothing wrong with saying I love you. You better start telling your baby daddies that or your ex-husbands that people that you got kids with and you didn't end on a horrible note that you love them too because they can be here today and gone tomorrow. But y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think.